Absolutely. And and Brad, I'm actually really glad that you brought up fan dubbing because I know that it's kind of like it's not thought of very highly in the professional VO community. And I can understand why there there are a lot of like amateurs and hobbyists who want to do it. But in the same vein, like there's fewer opportunities for better character practice and you're practicing work being part of a production team. So those skills are like are useful. And it's definitely like if you're interested in it, it might be your only way to practice or get involved with it until you can afford to invest in training and things like that. So exactly. I think as long as you, you go in with that mindset of practice rather than like I, w I wouldn't want to send anything that you're doing, like I wouldn't advertise that to like to agents or anything. But like I said, you could build connections and who knows, maybe the person that you did a fan dub with became a producer or a caster and they want you back. Yeah, and yep. and on, on that same, along, the, along that, same, that same note, the you know, the, the assistant that you're dealing with now, the person getting you coffee, the, whoever it is in the studio, they're going to be the agents in a couple of years. They're going to be the ones who are going to be making the new content. They're going to be the ones who are hiring you in the future. So, you know, be, be respectful of everybody that you work with, regardless Absolutely. of where they are in the chain.